Hello everyone, today I want to talk to you about the library in Campfire Blaze. This is a more advanced feature for those who plan to reuse elements from project to project. Let's dive in. When you open Blaze, you can find your library in the main menu at the top right. In the library, you'll find a list of all the elements you've made in Blaze. The sidebar on the left allows you to filter your elements by project. If you click on one, only the elements in that project will display. You can also select multiple projects to show all of the elements that appear in them. Categories are located at the top of the panel. By default, all three are selected, allowing you to see elements from the character, world, and write categories. If you don't want to see the chapters from your manuscript, you can simply disable the write category by clicking it. Only want to see your world building stuff? Click on the character category button to get rid of your characters. Sort by specific modules by clicking on the module name from the list along the top of the page below the category buttons. You can also search for the element you're looking for by using the search bar in the top right. If you're looking to share anything from modules like the timeline that have nested elements, you'll need to share your whole project since those elements rely so heavily on the rest of the project to provide context. You can do that on the main project hub. Now, back to the library. Let's take a look at the group actions here in the top left. Let's say you're working on a homebrew tabletop RPG. You may have standard items built in one story, like this longsword. You don't want to remake your longsword element in every story file, so you can use group actions to share it with your other projects. Let's say I have a handful of standard items I've made. I can click on each of them, then hit add to project. This means these items will appear in the items module for both projects now. You could also choose Move to Project if you want to remove them from the original project. You can also use group actions to delete elements in batches. That's handy because when you delete an element, let's say I don't need this character anymore, it's taken off that project, but remains in your library. Now we can see that the character is in this section called Unassigned, and I can delete it easily here. This can be a great safeguard against accidentally deleting something permanently that you wanted to save for later. But I'm gonna use a group action to add this character back to my main project because I didn't actually need to delete it. As of filming this video, when someone adds you as an editor of a project, the elements in that project don't appear in your library unless you made them. But you can share specific elements with friends and when you do, they will show up at the bottom of the library under shared files. We are constantly working on making Blaze better, so there might be slight changes to the library after the release of this video. Subscribe and follow us on social media so you never miss a thing. Thanks for watching.